If you're going to dine out anytime soon, you'll want to know the places to avoid. That's where I come in. I've got your lowest and highest inspection scores in this week's restaurant report card. We're going to start in Clarendon County, where Gable Mini Mart on Highway 301 scored a 79, our lowest grade this week. According to the report, food items in one of the refrigerators had a growth on them, and the bologna packaging in the cooler was swelling. An employee was seen washing dishes and prepping raw chicken at the same time. And the restaurant was not date marking all of their food. That's an important process. It ensures food gets thrown out when it's supposed to. Over in West Columbia, Icofano's Catering on Charleston Highway scored an 80. The inspector says they were not actively wear washing. If you haven't heard this term before, it's basically the process where you take your dirty dishes, scrape them, wash them, rinse them, and sanitize them. The report says single service items, which are things like napkins and straws, were being stored on the floor. Also, food was being stored on the floor in the walk-in cooler and freezer. This is a violation they've been hit with before. Not too far away, Schooner's Bar and Grill in Lexington scored an 84. According to the report, when a pan near the grill was uncovered, bugs flew out into the kitchen. Also, the inspector found bugs in the kitchen and at the bar. The restaurant was also cited because there was a black biofilm inside the ice bin of the drink machine near the bar. Now on to the Hall of Fame. In Columbia, Silver Spoon Bake Shop on Divine Street, Hot Mess on Main Street, and Cayman Japanese Restaurant on Assembly Street scored 100s. Softies on Botanical Parkway in West Columbia, an Old Mill Brew Pub on East Main Street in Lexington also served up perfect scores. For the full list of restaurants that scored below a 90, head to WLTX.com. For Restaurant Report Card, I'm Whitney Sullivan.